Welcome to the Stories of Starting podcast. I'm Heather Boyd. As a self-employed artist for the last 30 years, I'm fascinated with people's passions and creative projects. In this series, we discover how people like you have started new projects by thinking outside the box, going with the flow, and tapping into their childhood imagination. Hey guys, today we are downtown Montreal at our favorite alleyway. Yay! <laughs> and my guest today is my daughter Mimi. So Mimi, introduce yourself and tell everybody what you do. Hi, my name is Mimi. I am a photographer. I specialize in taking photos of 18-inch dolls. And I've done photo shoots here downtown Montreal in this alleyway with all the graffiti. And um, I do a lot of uh, stuff on Instagram. So I um, have a whole community of doll photographers on Instagram. Cool. And that's where I share all my work. And I've made friends and contacts there. I've done meetups and much more. <laughs> awesome, that's amazing. So yeah, so uh, there's a few things I wanted to talk to Mimi about. She's been interviewed many times before <laughs> and I'll link up those interviews below to tell a little bit of the backstory about how she got into the photography. But something I wanted to touch on is for many years she actually uh, had a lot of collections and so the dolls was just one of the many collections that she had. So, so tell us a little bit of, about your obsession and your collections of things. Okay, well as a child I had a lot of collections whether it was dolls or bouncy balls or uh, peekapoos or webkins or you name it. I used to collect all kinds of different things. Uh, my main one was probably beanie, bo beanie boppers. Oh yeah, and, the um, dolls. The little, yeah, they were like little, I don't know, 11 inch dolls. And they were like all like plushy and whatnot. And um, I don't know, I had a fascination with them. I used to make up like a little school area and like teach my dolls. Um, I, I even that. used to take photos of them. So I used to pose them, whether it was in a gymnastics pose, because gymnastics was my favorite sport and it still is. And um, used to take photos of them so they'd stand or do the splits or you name it. And cool. I would take photos of them when I was like probably around uh, eight to ten I would say yeah. um, and then when I found out about American Girl that is where it all started. That's so funny eh? because you were really doing this way before it was a thing on yeah. Instagram or yeah. anywhere before you even had heard about the American Girl Absolutely. dolls. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember those things you used to like position your dolls and get them to balance and yes. take photos. We have a few funky yeah, yeah. photos I'll, I'll, I'll add insert them, them. The, yes, insert for sure. them into the blog as um, well. Yeah I used to really love that stuff. I actually remember when I was in grade nine I my mom was like, oh, you should go to the park and take photos of your doll. Um, it was a BFD Inc doll. Her name was Alicia, and I right. went to the park with my friend, and uh, we took photos of this doll in the park. And I still have the photos, and they're uh, from quite a few years ago. I was like 15 at the time. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It's funny to see like your evolution and like um, how your past actually reflects in your 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 now and your future. It's so true and in those days you had a point and shoot and I remember there were settings on the camera there was a black and white setting a sepia setting and then the regular setting yes. so a couple of the a lot of those photos you did were in black and white and sepia and mm -hmm. I actually sold a one I remember I sold one of your cards yeah. of the doll photo at John Abbott College at a craft show to right. this older couple and they were just so You know what's fascinated. ironic about that is because I'm a part of a camera club yes. and a lot of the camera club people the members are in their 60s and whatnot yeah. they're older members and it's funny you sold a, a card of a doll to an, to an older, older man because yes. a lot of the people who admire me now are yes. in that age range well it's it's an art form you know it's more than just instagram posting now it really is an art form and like i said you were way ahead of your time yeah. with that which is so cool and we have all, sure. of, all of those old photos as well and we printed some of the big too yeah which for really sure cool yeah yeah so actually that was one of the things on my list to talk to you about was the uh the lcc which is the lakeshore camera club community so tell me about your involvement with that like you you got involved and i know they put you on the executive and you run their instagram so <laughs> Tell me how that went down. So basically, I found out through, I think it was through you, um, about the Lakeshore Camera Club. Um, it's a, a club on the West Island where we live, and I got really involved in this club. Um, and they're all photographers and whatnot. And you know, it was kind of funny because when I went into the club, I was like, "Oh, it'd be really great to be friends with these people." And yeah. to when you walk into the club, that everybody would say hello to you. Cool. And I remember last year, I walked through the aisle of all the chairs, yeah. and everybody said hello to me. Oh, and that was like sweet. my dream. 
dream when I was when I first started the yeah. club. I was like, I really want to be friends with these people. I'm somebody who always has gotten along with older people. Yes, um, that's always been something just in me. I remember I used to go to my friends' birthday parties, and I would end up talking to the parents. Yes. So it's funny how like things like come back, right? Yeah. And um, so yeah, so I just got really involved with them. Um, cool. Last year, they asked me to do a presentation about what I did, um, doll related. Um, so it was all like Instagram related and photography related, and like about my community. Yeah. So at that point, they're like, "Oh, could you help us with our Instagram and whatnot?" They put me on the executive team. Cool. I think they really just wanted a new inspiration, a new, yes. um, a new like fresh blood, basically, like yeah. fresh, uh, a new mind, um, yeah. new ideas. Um, somebody who wasn't in the same age range too. Yeah. They're like. You, you're another generation, yes. and we want this club to continue. So we yes. want the younger generation to have input. So yeah. the club will continue in the future well, when they're so not good. doing it anymore. Like the last two years I've been there, uh, this will be my third year that I'm going into. Um, but the last two years, I remember my first year, I thought, oh, this is great. I've yeah. learned so much. There's yeah. like competitions, there's judging. But then the second year, it was the same schedule. And I yeah. was like, oh, it's going to be great because I've already done this. But when yeah. I got there, I was like, oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. And then so I told one of the executive members, I was like, hey, uh, we should have more interaction hands on yeah. and more um, learning and yeah. learning more about how to do photography. Yes. And this year I went, went to go look at the schedule and did they ever take my advice? Awesome. I was so happy. I think I'm going to go to some of the meetings too because yes. I always learn a lot when yeah, I go. Yeah, for sure. Because you, you can go as a guest to the meetings too, Absolutely. which is amazing. For sure. So, so that's so cool. So um, that's interesting because the whole idea of like the, you know learning, stimulation, all that stuff. It's it's interesting because I know you're you've always been someone that that is a, a, like learns quick with these things and and just implements. And mm -hmm. I think that's something that I've really learned from you and that in uh, you've really inspired me in that way. Is you just you get an idea. You go for it, you do it, like your YouTube channel, you went full on in when you did have a YouTube channel and that inspired me to do YouTube and Instagram and the whole thing. And, and I remember you started doing YouTube videos, what, yeah. 10 years ago? What I started doing YouTube videos in 2008. 2008. I was inspired by a American Girl Instagram, uh, American Girl uh, YouTuber actually. Oh uh, her yes. name was Stevens Wood a Dancer and I remember I used to watch her and watch her and she used to do hairstyles on her dolls yeah. and she used to do opening videos and I just thought this was the most brilliant thing cool. and I uh, I was inspired by her to start doing my YouTube and then over the years it kind of evolved and I didn't really know what I was doing with yeah. it and then as of 2014 15 I started like amping it up a bit yeah and then I realized that I really love the photography and I morphed out of that and yeah. really went full on with the photography and I do not have any regrets yeah and you had a lot of followers how many subscribers did you have on YouTube I had 933 at the end yeah so almost and, a thousand followers yeah so. and I was just like you know what it's it's done its time yeah. I've done been on here for 10 years I really found another passion that yeah. I really connected with um, I connected with that YouTuber, by the way, that I uh, admired. We actually yes. sent her a package and yes. she reviewed, uh, showed it on her channel. So I had contact in her That's and I was satisfied cool. with my decision and yeah. I was had completed that part of my life and wanted to move on. That was cool. And that's a really good lesson in, in you know, appreciating the experience, but mm -hmm. knowing when it's time to move on. Like I know I had encouraged you a lot to stay on YouTube and, yeah. and all this stuff and you're like, mom, no, I'm done with it. <laughs> and then finally when you did it, it was like a big weight lifted off like, you and you really went yeah. full on into the Instagram. And I find as soon as I went full on into the Instagram, I had all this press that had contacted me yes. and all, this ama all these amazing things that had come my way once you let go of something that's been a burden for a yeah. while, sometimes beautiful things come your way. Exactly. And I had like four different press people. I had a few different podcasts. Um, oh yeah, and then um, Chapters Rito in Ottawa actually contacted me to do a um, doll photography workshop that's last right. summer. Yeah. And uh, that just was the best thing ever. Yeah. I couldn't be more grateful. And then this Mother's Day, we actually did a mother, daughter, and doll photography that um, cool. photo yeah. shoot to make like a fun frame and that I was the official photographer. I so um, those experiences were absolutely fantastic and I couldn't thank them enough. Yeah. Um, and that was part of letting go of one big yes. thing that you were working on that yeah. doesn't wasn't necessarily going the way you had planned or yeah. didn't necessarily uh, resonate with you yeah and then you let go of that and 
other things came your way that really resonate res resonated with you. That's so cool. Absolutely. And tell us a little bit about the press. What uh, and just uh, what how that came about. So basically, uh, my mom and I actually went down to the old port of Montreal, and that is a beautiful place. If you ever come to Montreal, I love that place. Uh, and there's this old cobblestone, as you might know. Uh, but it was ironic because I brought my doll and my camera down. We were going to take photos and we were going to tweet them to tours in Montreal. Right. And that was our intention. Yes. So we went down and the cobblestone was under renovation. Oh, and that's they were, right. They were, they were just scrapping the whole thing. We're just like, that's great. On, like, <laughs> yeah. we, uh, so we, anyway, anyways, we found spots uh, minus the cobblestone. And the cobblestone honestly didn't really show up in the photos anyways. in the end. So it really didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so we tweeted them to tours in Montreal and I received an email from a news... Well, because they retweeted it, right? Yeah, they, they retweeted, retweeted it. because she tagged them. Yes, yeah. so they retweeted it, and then after they retweeted it, I received an email from a, uh, a guy um, in Montreal for Metro News yes. West Island. That yes. was it. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I would love to do an, an article about you and yeah. um, interview you. Yeah. And then afterwards, he's like, oh, know who would really like your stuff? It came McKenna from CBC. Yeah. And so he sent me her email. Yes. And I emailed her as a, a pitch. Yeah. And she uh, ended up being interested. She loved it. She yeah. absolutely adored it. Yeah. And uh, so she did an article about it. Cool. And then um, a little while later, I was sitting, sitting at home and I received a, a, an email from a um, radio station, CJD 800, I think it is. Yeah. And um, they uh, ended up interviewing me New Year's Day on January 1st um, right. on uh, live yeah. uh, on the radio. So that was really cool. And then that night, I believe, I received another email saying, oh, I would love to interview you for City News Montreal. Yes. So wow. the next day I went home and the City News Montreal people came to my house That's and cool. did a whole interview. And actually the other two interviews um, for the um, internet and for the TV, we're also at my house. Yeah, that's so cool. So that's kind of how it rolled. It's and then, the power of one for sure. tweet, right? And, for and sure. also, uh, you know, daring to do that. Just Absolutely. putting it out there. Yeah. You've got nothing to lose. Yeah. And so, and look what happened from that one tweet. It's really yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's really I cool. It. Yeah. Cool. And then there was all kinds of other, like, people, like, from Creator HQ who asked uh, if they could do podcasts. And, yes, um, you did a podcast with Creator And uh, I've had yeah. a few other podcasts. I did one with uh, George Poppy oh, uh, yes. before that all happened. Oh, I've done yeah. all kinds of stuff. So um, if you want to go check that out, we will uh, we'll we'll, 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 link it up. Yeah. yeah, so another thing I wanted to talk about is because Mimi and I do a lot of uh, urban adventures in Montreal. <laughs> so I thought it was super appropriate to do the podcast here in an alleyway because I take my daughter to alleyways to hang out whatever but we also go to a lot of coffee shops we go to live comedy a lot of events and uh, so tell me about uh, about the urban adventures and and what you get out of them how you enjoy them um so something you introduced me to was the comedy nest i got to be honest i went crazy with that uh, we've met so many amazing people uh we go there frequently actually last night i was there and i've gone there so many times that the security guards started to introduce themselves <laughs> so that was interesting you know they're, you're uh, there often when exactly yeah. so that was interesting um yeah so the urban adventures i mean right now we are in an alleyway i've yes. done photo shoots in this alleyway i this is one of my favorite alleyways in montreal it actually probably is there yeah. used to be this awesome little graffiti over there oh, which yeah. Yeah. Which was of the little mushrooms, and I Aww. love those little mushrooms. They, yeah, they paint over every year because this is actually in the neighborhood where they do mural fest every year. Yeah, which is super awesome. And actually, that's something I wanted to mention was because we do a lot of traveling, and I remember the first time we went to New York, we actually met up with our friend um, Martha Cooper, who is uh, a photographer also, mm -hmm. and she actually documents graffiti photography all over the world. And she had republished her book, Subway Art. Yeah. And so we went We went to see her and she gave us a signed copy of her book and we had a really amazing time. And we have a photo of Mimi. When, how old were you? It was in 2009 and I was 13. Oh, that was, that it. was Thank it. you. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have a photo of you and Martha and you holding your doll. Emily. Emily. <laughs> this was before you were doing AG the, photography. Yeah, the AG photography, but, yes. So we, and then Martha took us on a tour around yeah. at and like, New York City. Yeah, and I remember yeah. at the end she actually said goodbye to my doll because I brought Aww. this doll everywhere with me sweet yes I love that. yeah that was the, that was an amazing trip that was my very first trip to New York yeah and, um, and probably 
definitely influenced us to, you know, like yeah. pursue no, it like definitely going did. to the group. For sure. So um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about your community on yes. Instagram yes. because it seems that you, we have a lot of communities we're involved with, right? right. The Creator HQ, right. your LCC, and right. then, but the big one, of course, is your uh, American Girl what is it? A G I G American yes. Girl Instagram. Instagram. Yes. On uh, on Instagram. On obviously. Instagram. <laughs> but you've made a lot of virtual friends I on have. there. You've met up with people in person on yes. there, and you became good friends with people yes. from that. So tell me a little bit about uh, why don't we start with the meetups? So basically, in 2017, um, this actually involves another article I had. Um, I created a um, a tour. So we were going to Vancouver, we were going to Edmonton, Toronto, and Ottawa. So on Facebook, I created five different um, uh, event pages yeah. for this whole tour I was doing. Now, I'm reminding you, the only people I got were in Vancouver. Uh, I met up with a lot of people afterwards in Ottawa, and I also had a meetup uh, hosted by another fellow AGIGer in Toronto that I went to recently. Oh, cool. And then um, I was in Edmonton, a city in a cafe, and. Um, I received a, a, a message on Facebook saying right. I want, want to interview you for um, the Edmonton Examiner newspaper. Yes, yes. And I thought to myself, this must be spam. You thought of a spam? My mom's like, no, 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 it's not spam. Yeah. It's, a, it's a news article. And ironically, she was like three or four blocks away from where we were. Exactly. So we went up and I had this whole article done about me like a week later yeah. in the newspaper in Edmonton, yeah. which was absolutely amazing. Was and crazy. I, uh, I the could- The power of social media. It's yeah. A, just from creating a Facebook event, uh, event page. Exactly. Yeah. So that was um, some of the people I've met. I've met a lot of amazing people in Ottawa, as I mentioned. Yeah. Um, I've met a lot of people just online. Yeah. I, we ended up meeting up with him in New York City yes. uh, in May, and that was such a cool adventure. I became really good friends with this uh, fellow AGI -er. And You guys did a photo and shoot, we did a photo shoot. in Times Square. That was In Times awesome. Square, yes, we did. I love that. And uh, we actually met up with him again uh, with another friend, uh, yes. not an AGI -er, but another friend uh, yeah. the last time we went. So That's I've made right. a lot of connections, and good friend on there um and a lot of people i've just yeah. stayed in contact with i actually was recognized at the um ottawa location another agi -er, she came up to me and she's like oh my god uh, are you mimi b dolls cool. and it was so cool that day because she was there and there was two other girls there and there was one from montreal who had purposely come into ottawa the day i was there oh wow so i met up with her i met up with this girl who had recognized me and another girl who lives in ottawa so, cool. so there was this whole meetup that wasn't even planned yeah. that we met up with these girls and um, yeah I've, I've uh, done actually a photo shoot with uh, two of the three of them okay, one cool. in Ottawa and one in Montreal yeah that's fun. and um, I'm actually planning another one with an arm AGIG or coming up soon yeah uh, and then we've done a lot of just graffiti shoots just the two of us yeah. um, I love those collaborations like we went up to the Mont Royal one day with yeah with that lady and her and her daughter and I kind of played with her daughter and you did yes. the shoot and I would like hold the doll on the yeah, edge that so was she another, wouldn't fall uh, down. That and was, that was um the, that was fun. That was one of the girls from uh, Vancouver who came to Montreal yes. and then who hosted another meetup in Vancouver uh, in uh, in Toronto. That was yeah. the same girl who did like this little tour thing. Yeah. Remember that I time we were at the cottage? Yeah. And I was reading this novel. It was like a sort right. of a, a, a biography about this woman who yeah. actually did doll photography in the 50s. Right. Uh, the book yeah, was called yeah. The Lonely Doll. And so what she did, I think it was in the 50s, and she would had she had like a stuffed bear and her dolls. Yeah. And she, and she took the pictures of them on the beach and all over. Yeah. And that was years before I oh even got God. into AGIG. That that was a long and, time ago. And uh, I remember thinking it was really cool. Yeah, and I remember and going to, the book. I remember going to go get the book in yeah. uh, like Round Lake Center or something. Well, we because I had read this, I had read the novel, and I'm yeah. like, oh my god, wouldn't that be so cool to see this book? You know, right, this picture right, book yeah, that yeah, she had made. yeah. And so I think we were alone for a couple of days in between friends yeah, coming so, to the college. Yeah. So we went to Bancroft, Ontario. Bancroft, for okay, the day. that was it. And there happened to be a secondhand store, so don't we go in the secondhand store? And I'm yeah. like, wouldn't that be great to find this lonely doll book? Right. And of course, we found it. We found the book. It was insane. Like, I remember going back to the cottage thinking, yeah. this is insane. We actually found it. I it's know. the cutest little book oh you'll ever see. I'm going to put a link to yeah, it. Yeah, it really it's super is. Super cool. Yeah. And it's like totally along the lines of what you're doing, like taking yeah. photos of inanimate objects. Yeah 
in an environment and exactly. it just totally brings it, them to life. It brings them to life and it tells a story and that's something they say in photography is um, as soon as you can tell the story within your photo, yeah. that's a true photograph. So yeah. yeah, and those are the ones I love the best of what you do are yeah. the ones that really tell a story. A story. I, I know my favorite one is the one of, of the blonde, is it Julie, the blonde Isabel. doll, Isabel? There's two blonde looking ones. over the water in the Point Claire village and you could just you could almost feel her thoughts really you know, eh? she's looking over the water and and it's like a really nice calm kind of yeah feeling and yeah. the lighting is beautiful and it, no I love that I love that one too Kay. and what are some of your favorite photos of what you've done um currently my favorite photo is of two dolls one boy one girl they have their arms uh, around each other okay. and they're looking out in the sunset oh, and it's um it's a silhouette of the dolls and the sunset glowing in the in the background oh that's beautiful. um that's probably my favorite one currently and that one we just found out it was shared a lot on it was Instagram, shared a lot eh? oh yeah I didn't, know, I didn't even know you could tell where your photos i just figured shared. that out today <laughs> in, your, in your insights if yeah. you have a business account on instagram yeah. you can see on your insights i mean i always love the graffiti shots uh, yeah. i love the mount royal um Oh, there's been so many I've loved. I mean, remember that shoot we did over near um, Leonard Cohen's house? And yeah, we were doing the shoot ones out, really outside cute. of this old house. And these people, this person walked by and said, yeah. is that a real kid? Oh, I've had some say? really interesting experiences. That was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had some creepy ones. I've had some interesting ones. I've yeah. had some cute ones. I actually had two older ladies come up to me one time in the Point Claire village. Yeah. And they're like, oh my God, I love what you're doing and whatnot. And I actually ended up giving them my card. Oh, cool. And um, they were like, oh, I didn't want to interrupt you. But I, I just wanted to say I really like, like it and whatnot. That's so, so awesome. Really you no, know, they appeal to a lot of people. And you even had two pieces in Stuart Hall at the Lakeshore Camera yeah, Club has a yeah, show yeah. every year. And that was really, that was really so cool to see them lar printed large on the wall in, in right. like a gallery setting. Yeah, it's for really, sure. It's really interesting. It was beautiful, yeah. Wow. And do you have any, you know, tips or things you'd like to share with people that are interested in photography or just dolls or expressing themselves in any way at all? Um, to put yourself out there, uh, not to really worry about what people think of you. I mean, if they're gonna be rude, that's their problem and that's yeah. who they are. Yeah. Uh, to do what you love, to follow your passions and to go for it because you have nothing to lose. Um, be safe, I don't yeah. recommend to like <laughs> randomly message people or uh, <laughs> don't get in conflicts. Uh, be, be respectful. Um, if you want to take up photography, I suggest taking a few courses. Uh, that's yeah. what really helped me to get into it. Um, to find a medium that you love and to find something that you're passionate about is really important. Yeah. Um, the community um, changed me. I, yeah. I love the community. If you can find yourself a community uh, with people who have the same interests or similar interests, yeah. uh, you're going to do really well because you're going to support each other. Yeah. and. Um, you're gonna you're you're gonna bounce off inspiration and yeah. you can make friends through that i've made a lot of friends i've made a lot of connections yeah. um and uh i think that's the underlying theme of this part of this podcast yeah the episode is really all about community and all absolutely about inspiring each absolutely other and supporting each other yeah absolutely i think uh yeah just to go for it and not to have much fear because it doesn't hurt. Awesome. <laughs> so Mimi, uh, tell us where we can find you online and uh, yeah, for sure. and if, if you have any services to offer, just let us know. Okay, so you can follow me on Instagram if you are interested interested at MimiB.Dolls, on Twitter at MimiB.Dolls, and on Facebook at MimiB.Dolls, I believe. Uh, my website is MimiBDolls.com. I do do little Instagram uh, tutorials if you are interested. Um, I can help you a bit with your camera if you are interested. Um, I've been doing like photo shoots with uh, several different people. Uh, so if you ever want to do a photo shoot, let me know. Or if you ever want to collab, let me know because I'm definitely open to collaboration. Cool. Uh, I've done several different photo shoots uh, as collaboration in Ottawa, in Vancouver, in Montreal. Uh, so I would be happy to go on a shoot with you or to be featured on whatever you want to be featured on um, and vice versa, whatever. Cool. Yeah, for sure. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you so thank much, you so much. For, <laughs> for coming on the podcast. Yeah. So we've been talking about it for a few weeks and we're like, we're going to do it in the alleyway and Mimi's like, I don't, don't want to do it in the alleyway. But now I have our mics, so hopefully it worked out yeah. all well. And uh, I'm going to post all kinds of pictures uh, on the blog. Yeah, your, for sure. Beautiful work. For sure. And we'll see everybody the next time. Bye. It's okay. We can edit this yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, Look on. at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> We're going to edit.
Thanks so much for tuning in to Stories of Starting. Until next time, always remember, your story matters.